Please take your seats quickly, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Hi guys, welcome to OneMinuteTennis.com. In today's session, I'd like to talk to you about how to time the ball perfectly as often as possible. We all have good days, we all have bad days. What I want to try and do is show you what's really happening when you have the bad day, what's really happening when you have the good day. And I want to explain a simple law of physics that will mean that you can convert your bad days into good days and play more consistent and more powerful tennis. Now, most people watching this video will be familiar with the concept that objects of different sizes and different weights drop at the same speed. As an example, if I drop two tennis balls here, then it's not a surprise that they drop at the same speed. But if now, instead of dropping the tennis balls, I drop a racket and a tennis ball, then they still drop at the same speed. The equality of this drop and the speed of the drop is explained by Newton's second law, usually known as mass times velocity. But where does this apply to tennis? Now, when the ball is coming to us on the forehand side, you must have heard the phrase a racket drop. But most people watching this video, probably you, will not be making a racket drop. You will be making a racket placement. You see, as the ball comes, we go into the number one position, the unit turn here, and then place the racket down and then swing. But if you time the drop of the racket, not the placement of the racket, if you time the drop of the racket with the drop of the ball and relax and are loose, then the racket will drop at exactly the same speed as the ball. So if I put the two objects together here, and now instead of actually physically dropping the racket, I drop the ball and release the racket, and they move together. Again, I drop the ball and release the racket, and they move together. Now I'm going to drop the ball, and I'm going to lower the racket, and they didn't move together. I drop the ball, and I lower the racket and I'm just slightly off. But this is in a small distance. When you add the size of a tennis court, then that drop when I place the racket or when you place the racket down will be out of synchronization with the ball. And so we'll start to find hard days. We'll have miss hits. We'll have to make corrections, adjustments in the stroke. And then tennis becomes very, very difficult. But if you can relax, if you take the racket back and make a unit turn, adjust and prepare for the ball, and then, as the ball reaches the top of its bounce, just lower your racket with the ball, then you'll be synchronized and in harmony with the ball. It only works with relaxation because you can't relax and let the racket drop if you have stress and tension in your arm. But then you can harness the force of gravity to throw the racket forward and your racket speed will be supercharged and super powered. This is probably already happening to you on the good days, but when you have the bad days, just remember Newton's second law. And remember that if you synchronize the drop of the racket with the drop of the ball and really allow it to drop, something like this. Synchronizing the racket drop with the drop of the ball will give you smooth, harmonious and powerful strokes. Your bad days will become good days. Your good days will become better. Here I'm swinging as relaxed and loose as I can with almost no effort to hit the ball at all. Yet the ball is traveling quickly and powerfully because I'm synchronized and in harmony with the arrival of the ball. I hope this makes sense. I'd love to know how synchronizing the drop of the racket with the ball, playing in harmony with the ball and using Newton's second law works in your game. If you like my ideas, then have a look at our books on Amazon. In those books, we also apply the laws of physics and the biomechanics and science of the strokes. And then we give super simple solutions with really clear illustrations, helping you to make real change in your game. Or for a different way of improving your game, have a look at what we're doing with online coaching. We're helping players in over 30 countries all over the world with a unique blend of video analysis and one-to-one -one personalized training. For information on this, email us or look at the website for details. So synchronize the drop of the racket with the drop of the ball. Don't make powerful muscular strokes with many adjustments. Make smooth, fluid, flowing strokes and you'll play better tennis today. Thanks for watching and see you next time for more unique tennis lessons that really work.